Hello and welcome to our video teaching you everything you need to know about the electromagnetic spectrum in 5 minutes or less. Enjoy. There are seven regions of the electromagnetic spectrum, from radio waves on the left all the way over to gamma rays on the right. These encompass all types of electromagnetic radiation and the wavelengths depend on what type of wave they are. They all have some common properties. They all travel at the speed of light and they're also all transverse waves. But what are transverse waves? In transverse waves, particles in a medium vibrate at right angles to their direction of wave velocity. Imagine you're in a stadium and a Mexican wave starts. You see the wave move across the stadium from one side to the other, but individual people only move up and down. This is how a transverse waves acts and how it is transferred between one place to another. A common property for all electromagnetic waves is that they can all be refracted, reflected and diffracted. Refraction occurs when a wave enters a medium of different density. The direction changes due to the change in velocity. Reflection occurs when a wave bounces back off of a surface. Mirrors are very good at doing this, but most surfaces display reflected properties. Diffraction occurs when a wave passes through a gap or past the corner, causing it to spread out. Maximum diffraction occurs when the gap is the same size as the wavelength of the wave. If the gap size and the wavelength are identical, 180 degree diffraction occurs. If the gap is too big or too small, then the wave will be spread out less. There are seven regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. They are as follows. Radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-ray, and gamma rays. Radio waves are most commonly used for broadcasting radio and TV radio astronomy, and MRI scans. They have a very large wavelength between 1 million kilometers and 10 centimeters, the largest of all electromagnetic waves. Microwaves are most commonly used for radar, telecommunication, and in cooking. They have a wavelength smaller than radio waves, but it's so small we use standard form to express it. The wavelengths range from 10 to the minus 1 meters to 10 to the minus 3 meters. Next up is infrared waves. Infrared waves can be oh, sorry about that. Uh, let's have a look at that text. Hide the but anyway, moving on. Um, next up is infrared waves. These can be used for night vision goggles, remote controls, and for cooking. Their wavelengths range from 10 to the minus 3 meters to 7 to the minus 7 meters. They're also commonly known as heat. Next up is visible light. This is where it gets a little bit more interesting. The visible light spectrum is the only colors that we can see. They range from 7 times 10 to the minus 7 meters and 4 times 10 to the minus 7 meters, with red light being 700 nanometers and violet being 400 nanometers, hence infrared being below red and ultraviolet being above violet. Speaking of ultraviolet, it's up next with wavelengths between 4 times 10 to the minus 7 meters and 10 to the minus 8 meters. It's very useful for sterilization, security marking, and getting a lovely tan. Some birds can see an ultraviolet light. Hawks use it to track the root of voles. UV is also ionizing, meaning that it can kill cells. Next up is X-rays, every sci-fi film's favorite superpower. X-rays have a wavelength of 10 to the minus 8 meters to 10 to the minus 13 meters. They are also used for sterilization, medical treatment, and of course, medical imagery. It is also ionizing, much more so than UV rays in fact. And finally, gamma rays. These overlap with X-rays a fair bit. They have a wavelength of 10 to the minus 10 meters to 10 to the minus 16 meters. They also, like gamma rays and ultraviolet, used in sterilization, medical treatment, and medical imagery. They are the most ionizing waves and are the last in our spectrum. So, that's it. That's all you need to know about the electromagnetic spectrum in five minutes or less. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to research further into the topics covered in this video, as this is only a brief overview of what is to come. Thanks a lot for watching, bye. Yeah. I get my best flows and test on my next shows while my whiteboard is marked up with exposed.